Welcome to C programming. In the previous lesson, we learned how to create a sequential access file and to write to that file. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to read from that file and display it into our command prompt window. So let's jump into the programming and see how we will read from a file and display it in our command prompt. So in code blocks we will create a new empty file and we will save this as not write file but we will save this as read file dot c and we will save this. So first of all we always start with hash include stdio.h, our standard input and output library, and when we say int main void, and we have our return zero statement. We save it and we build and run just to make sure that our program compiled successfully and also run. Great, so we can continue. So first things is we need to create a file cf pointer okay so cf pointer is of type file and we will use that cf pointer to open the file and in the same way in the previous example we will use the cf pointer if ptr to open if open the file that we want to read so we're going to read from students.txt need to put that in inverted commas and then we say we will read or for read so we will open this students.txt file to read from it then what we will say is if this is equal to null we know that the program was not able to open the file and we can then give a error message and we can say file could not be opened okay so we always need to check if we can open the file and if this is then equal to null the file could not be opened and then if it was successful we do the else and now it's actually very nice what we can do is in our text file we need to go and create a text file for ourselves so what we can do is we're going to say new text file and we will say students dot txt and we will say james is one two three susan is four three two one and jacob is one 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 we will save this and that's going to be our students dot txt file so it's there let's go back to our program students dot txt what we will do then is we will tell the user first the name and then we want to print out the name and then we will say print out the student number and we will want to display the student number there. So how do we get that from the user? And it's actually quite simple. What we can do is we can use the if scan if statement. The if scan if statement. And then by using the CF pointer, the CF pointer, we can scan from that text document we can scan the first variable or the first 
entity and that's going to be our name so what we can do is we can say percentage s we will scan the name and then what we can do is we can scan for a decimal value great and where do we want to go and store this so we need to go and store this inside a char array and also student 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 number so we will store this inside name and student num number just make sure that the spelling is the same no it's not student number uh, also student number name student number great so we use the if scan if to scan from the text document the first um, string and we will store it inside name and then the next we will store the number so then we need to go and then display this to our user and it's actually going to be quite simple all that we need to go and do is we need to say percentage s name we're going to display name and percentage d we're going to display the student number and we will put this in a loop just now let's first check that we can open the students.txt file and read from it the first line so let's build and run oops we've got our first error so we can view the logs file expected file ah there's a spelling mistake so always go and check what your error file capital letter oops save and we build and run okay so this is our output name james student number one two three four so it could actually go and read the student number and the name now we need to repeat this until we get to the end of the file and how do we do that so it's always good programming practice to use maybe a while loop to go and do this for us and what we can do is we can say exclamation mark for not file end of file that's our file end of file statement and the file end of file of the cf pointer okay and if it's not the end of the file we can go and scan f and print out the name oops and the student number so this while loop will help us to traverse through the whole of the text file so let's see if we build and run and i'll put it here so first name james student number one two three four name susan student number four three two one name jacob one 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 and we can see that it actually read from that txt file let's go back to that txt file yeah we can see that we actually read exactly the values that we stored inside the text file so combining this read from the text file with our previous example write to the text file we are now able to communicate both ways to the text file so we can read and write to a text file and this will enable our c programs to go and store maybe data when we reopen the program we can load previously saved data into our program and this is quite nice remember the text file is stored in your computer and it's on the hard drive if you run your program every time it's in ram so 
all the data in your program will be lost if we do not write it to a file that will be stored on the hard drive okay so that will enable us to store data onto the hard drive and access that data again when we run our program maybe after we have shut down the computer etc so that is saving or reading and writing data to a text file in order to save data for future um, run of the program that's all from me just a recap always remember to have this if statement that checks for null if the file could not be opened we need to create a cf pointer of type file and then we can use the if scan if statement to read from the text file that's all for me thank you for watching and i hope to see you soon mm -hmm.